The summer in the world of NBA basketball is a time for every team to try to maximize their resources in order to build the best team possible. The decision making during this period in the form of drafting, trades, and free agency signings are crucial to how a team will perform in the coming season, and while some teams execute plans masterfully and build contenders in this time, others make critical mistakes that can come back to bite them down the line. This brings us to the topic of today's video, where we'll be discussing four or teams in particular that I believe will look back at the decisions that they made this offseason with regret when all is said and done. This could be for a variety of reasons, whether it be bad trading or signing, overall inactiveness when they should have been more aggressive, or a combination of both. Before we start though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. The first team we'll be discussing today that will end up regretting their decision this offseason is the Los Angeles Lakers. After winning the championship back in 2020, this team has fallen pretty hard from that glory, and that trajectory has continued to go south this summer. Last offseason, the Lakers thought it would be a good idea to fill out almost their entire roster with veterans that may bring experience but were also way over the hill talent-wise, but that backfired. So this offseason, they've signed younger players like Thomas Bryan and Lonnie Walker. The Lakers also traded Talon Horton Tucker and Stanley Johnson for Patrick Beverly, which is a good move that should make an impact, but Beverly is now arguably the team's fourth best player, and after a season where the Lakers both missed the playoffs and the play-in tournament altogether, I just don't think they did nearly enough to elevate themselves back to the status where they want to be, which is in contention for a championship. Russell Westbrook and LeBron James very glaringly did not fit well alongside each other last season, and now both of them, disgruntled about the situation the team is running, they're choosing to bring it back. Plus, Anthony Davis both can't stay healthy and hasn't been able to provide the impact that we've become used to seeing from him when he was healthy, having two down seasons in a row. This has disaster written all over it from a production standpoint and a chemistry standpoint, and it'll be because they chose to ignore the problems that carried over from the league's most disappointing team from a year ago. The next team we'll be discussing today that I believe will end up regretting their decisions this offseason is the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavericks advanced all the way to the conference finals this past season, and going into the summer, everyone was ready for them to carry that momentum into a big summer. Luka Doncic has done everything in his power to prove that he is ready for the big stage, and time after time, produces at an absolutely elite level in the playoffs. The primary narrative surrounding the Mavericks after all of this is that they need to find Luka a secondary star to team with him, because time after time we've seen him have to carry a large brunt of the workload regarding shot creation and playmaking. Jalen Brunson was emerging as someone who was reliably handling secondary playmaker duties, and he especially broke out in the playoffs this year. But then, when the offseason hit, the Mavericks basically allowed him to walk away for nothing as he signed with the Knicks. The counter-argument to this is that Brunson had his mind set on the Knicks anyway, however, the Mavericks both didn't offer him as much as the Knicks offered him, and they never really made him a priority, so obviously he was going to choose New York over them. On top of this, the Mavericks were able to take the leap they did last season because of their stout defense that they built, and the one big move that they did make this summer was trading for Christian Wood. Wood is a very talented big man offensive that can operate as the role man in the pick and roll masterfully alongside Luka Doncic, and he can space the floor as a shooter. But defensively, Christian Wood has ranked year after year as one of the worst rim protectors in the league. His presence will greatly improve the Mavericks' offense, while also derailing that stout defense that they built, which is a tough trade-off to make. The Mavericks will still be very good next season, don't get me wrong, but they very well may get passed up by a few other teams in the Western Conference standings. 
The next team we'll be discussing that I think will regret the way that they went about this offseason is the Memphis Grizzlies. The Grizzlies emerged in a way that nobody could have possibly seen coming last year as they finished the season with the second best record in the entire NBA during the regular season. They showed that their young core of talent was built to compete right now. They were already one of the best teams in the league, and most importantly, it demonstrated that they're a lot closer to competing for a championship than most thought. When a young team has a season like this, the smart thing to do is to capitalize on it and try to come back even stronger the next year while you have that momentum. Instead, this offseason the Grizzlies were one of the least active teams in the entire league, making almost no changes at all from last year's team. They didn't sign a single free agent, they drafted Jake LaRavia, David Roddy, and Kennedy Chandler, and they traded for Danny Green, who could possibly miss the entire season due to injury, and if he does return, it will be very late in the year. Meanwhile, on the flip side, they traded away DeAnthony Melton, and they also saw Kyle Anderson leave in free agency. As I mentioned before, a lot of other teams in the Western Conference around them made big moves to improve themselves, and the Grizzlies essentially stood pat, so now they risk falling down the pecking order after working so hard to emerge as one of the top teams. And finally, the last team that I believe will end up regretting their offseason decisions this summer is the Charlotte Hornets. The Hornets barely snuck into the play-in tournament last season, but they're a competitive team that most viewed as a group close to breaking through to becoming a serious playoff team. LaMelo Ball was just named an All-Star in his second season, and the team plays an exciting brand of basketball with his creation at the center of it, but after losing in the play-in tournament this summer has been pretty bad for them. I'll start by addressing the biggest piece of news, as Miles Bridges is in some serious legal trouble based on his actions off the court, and I'm not here to discuss things outside of basketball, but the fact of the matter is that he has done some things that may end up ruining the rest of his career, and he probably won't be back with the team anytime soon. That's a massive blow to a team that was barely treading water in the first place, and everything that has happened since then has been the definition of underwhelming. You'll probably pick up on a common theme throughout this video, but the Hornets are also another group that barely did anything this summer, when they were one of the squads in desperate need of some additions to bolster themselves. They lost both Bridges and Montrez Harrell, and then regarding the players that they brought in, the only new face that they'll have is rookie Mark Williams who they drafted in the first round. They're about to be so much worse this season, and it will be because of the fact that they sat back and watched other teams make the moves that they should have been trying to make for themselves. And with that being said, that's all I have for you today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below what you think some of the biggest mistakes of the offseason have been. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.